Kanye West released a new song with the game where he where he dropped that scathing line of, you know, God save me so I could beat Pete Davidson's ass. Right. And everyone thought it was amazing. But, you know, apparently it's not really amazing because Kanye got crazy fans out of here and everyone doesn't understand, like, what's Kanye's problem? Like, like, can't you get over it? And I, I thought about it and I was like. On the surface, of course, if that's that's the, the, that's the knee jerk reaction or that's the most common sense thing to think about. Like, bro, just get over it. It's over. But I had to think to myself, like, oh, shit, what did I go through 16 months ago? And, and this is not paying Pete as a, as, a, as a villain. He's not the villain. He's no one in this in this movie. He shouldn't even be in this motherfucking movie if you really want to know what's going on. But um, he but he's in it, unfortunately, because that's the situation. You know what I mean? Right. But what Kanye doesn't understand what I had to figure out is Kim left him months a year before she actually physically left him mentally. She was already, she already left. So it doesn't matter if she was with anybody, if she was with Obama, it didn't matter. It, it could, she could have been with the janitor. It would not matter. She was already gone. And when you're in a point where that you get that shock, like, Oh, my lady actually left. And I imagine you have children, a home last name that makes it even more deeper. But you know, I had 12 years in versus a family and kids. So it felt like I, we were entwined you then automatically go in panic mode and you start fighting for what you what you used to have. You want to fight for your family, quote, end quote. You know what I mean? And your your animosities towards anyone that's preventing you from getting back your family and your woman. And if you see another gentleman that your woman's giving time to, that becomes your automatic enemy. But these are all emotions. These are all that's just chemicals moving around. That's not rationality. I'm sure when he looks back and even what he's doing with this new lady out in Paris and love bombing her and going everywhere in PDA, like he's just trying his best to like to cope with something that needs time to cope. And because he's in the public eye and he has all these people on him, it doesn't allow him to just evolve. It's like a child star damn near. You, you see all the problems in real time. And that's the real fucking issue. He's going through what every other man went through when their lady already checked out and was like, yo, I got to leave. The problem is he's fucking Kanye West and she's Kim Kardashian and the guy she chose is, is a guy on SNL. That's the only real issue. This happens to everyone, millions of people across the fucking world. And I, at that point, I felt bad for him. You get what I mean? Yeah. Because I, I know all he wants is his family back, but what he doesn't understand is his his family isn't gone, but the relationship and love with his wife, that's been dissolved. Yeah. And he needs to now create a new relationship and build it was a that. wake-up call. Like, it was a wake-up call for him. Like, like, he keeps harping on the fact, like, how dare you bring me up here and, like, have me watch you kissing this dude or whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and that seems like that's where the trauma is. Up until that point, he was naive. Like, yeah, I can be on my bullshit or whatever, but she'll take me back. Yes. We'll fix it at some point. You know what I mean? Blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm on my bullshit, she on her bullshit, whatever, but at some point it'll get back together. And then to actually see her visually moving on was shocking to him. And he hurts. Has, hadn't had, the, like you said, he hadn't had the time to process that shit. Like, you know, he has to jump, which, he's, which is so strange to me. It's a, it's a narcissistic kind of personality, in my opinion, because he does have a billion dollars. So why do you feel like Ten, he protect, says. protect your brand so hard? immediately with a public display of a person, you know, with a person, whether, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, man, that shit is just corny. Like, you don't have to jump right into a relationship right away. And, you know, but he's got to, ain't the music supposed to be good? Is that, that's what makes you the man? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, man. He's, know. he's trying to he's trying to prove that he's wanted to to hope that maybe that would make his woman want him back. But he doesn't understand when a woman leaves you, she's already left you six to 12 months before she left you. Yeah. Unless she catches you cheating or some stupid shit like that. If she leaves you on some casual, like, yo, we need to have a co conversation. She was already gone, bro. You just didn't know it because you were out doing your bullshit, knowing that you would get thinking or knowing you would get back in. And I just had to put that in perspective for people who are watching this and going, well, what's happening? I don't understand. Oh, he Pete's a villain. Well, no, Pete's not a villain. She's a grown woman who made a decision, who's who's moving on with her life. And she made that decision well before she even met Pete on a romantic level. I can almost guarantee you this. You get what yeah. I mean? Pete would only be the villain if he broke the house. He didn't break the house. Bingo. He broke the house on his own. Thank you. Know I mean? you. Like just being on some old MAGA shit. So blame Trump for your for your issues, not Pete. Just blame yourself and cope yeah. with it and stop. And 
Listen, if that was your man, hundred grand type shit, or like a dude you really were cool, cool, cool with, I get it. But if that's some guy you met a couple times and it was all good and like whatever, just get over it, bro. Because the best thing that can happen is you need to be a good father to your children and set a good example because they have the internet and phones and TV and they're seeing all this madness. And that one day they're going to want to add this shit up and you're not going to want, you're not going to want the tally of what it equals. You know what I mean? No. So I'll leave it at that. Um, on the same vein, though, Tommy's not a home wrecker. You know what I mean? I'm just telling you like that right there. No, I've seen it. I've been a part of it. Homes, but oh. she, like you said, she's a grown woman. She made a grown woman decision. Exactly. But I'm not a home wrecker. But that being said, if the home is already wrecked, yeah. Tommy will strip it of all the precious metals. I'll strip all the precious metals of that motherfucker. That's just me personally. That's my personal philosophy. I'm speaking of me. Okay. So if your shit's already in shambles and, and, and shorty's over here, I'm coming for the copper wiring. Okay. See you guys later on the other side. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. Uh, moving on. Um, you know, there's a difference. I was speaking to someone they're like, you know, people change, you know, you know, women want um, the, it started from like men don't want women. Want, men want women to stay the same, like as they met them and women want men to change. Right. And then I started thinking, I was like, people don't really change. They either change or they evolve. There's a big difference, though. And I started talking to other people. and They're like, well, there is just the same thing to evolve as a change. And I'm like, no, they're two different things. Mm -hmm. So. I was thinking about what's the difference between changing and evolving. And like the biggest stark contrast I could say is when you change in my estimation is when you do something that's 90 degrees left, 180 degrees opposite of where you are at. Like that's a change um, or something very minor. Like oh, I'm going to drink Pepsi instead of Coca-Cola or orange soda. These are small changes, but most people don't change. They just evolve like a biker becoming a preacher is a fucking change. That's a 180 degree flip. Yeah. Or a drug dealer becoming a, a lady a, in the church. Exactly. Right. That's a 180. That's a change. Right. But a drug dealer becoming a father. That's just an evolution. You know what I mean? He was making yeah. money so he can make so he can have a good life. And he became a father. Is he changed? No, he can knows how to flip shit. He knows how to move shit. You know, you know what I'm saying? He just evolved. And I think most people evolve and we mistake it as changing, but they're just evolutions of who they originally were, because if they need to, they'll revert back to that person immediately, immediately, oh, yeah. immediately. Yes, because that's the one thing that they do know is themselves you know what i'm saying and who they've been so far especially in you know the comforts of your solidarity you know what i'm saying it's like i know who i am when i'm chilling amongst myself and how i like my things and what i like to do to entertain myself this that and the other blah 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 so i don't mind doing for others you know but if it's not appreciated i know where my bottom line is basically like i always said like i think you know i would always be able to fall back and drive a bus you know what i'm saying and be fine with that like if everything just went left you know, I'm just gonna find a bus, you know, in Amsterdam, like if I need to be far away <laughs> or some shit, and that'll be my life, and I'll be fine with that. You know what I'm saying? Some sort of life sustaining existence, basically, instead of a whole lot of hoopla or whatever. But a lot of people don't set those ground floors for themselves. A lot of people just keep looking up. Well, know? that's because yeah. you you you've evolved into a superstar who has primetime TV shows and SNL and commercials and stuff, but at part of who you are is still a very simple person and not simple minded, but simple in your needs and wants. You just want to be comfortable, relax, eat some decent food, have some peace and have your family simple as a motherfucker. You know what I mean? The confines may elevate and, and become bigger and better and et cetera. But at heart, you're still the same person. You've evolved your life. Right. Thousand percent. And I think people need to start looking at those in context and not be afraid of that's what the like that's what I do a lot of my life coach work on is not trying to change myself, but figure out the evolution of myself and how to be the best iteration of that for me and everyone around me. You get what yeah, I mean? I mean, the only thing the only times you have to change yourself is when you're being a bad person, you know, or you're doing negative and you're bringing harm to yourself and others or whatever. That's usually the only time you need to necessarily like change, whether it's, you know, bad food habits or eating habits or negative attitudes or tempers or whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? Blah, blah, blah. But your natural evolution, you should always embrace because evolution comes with knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Like you're always going to be a different person when you know something about something you didn't previously. You know what I mean? Like, yep. It's just 
a beautiful thing. Like I embrace all the knowledge I can get or wisdom I can get, sit and talk with an old person and just listen to them. You know what I mean? And try to connect the dots of these references or times or perspectives or this, that, and the other. Like that shit is amazing. That's what makes a rich life, in my opinion. You don't waste it by not knowing enough about different things. You know what I'm saying? It's a, a lot of different shit has gone down on this planet. Yep. A hundred percent. hundred percent. All right, let's move on. We got 22 minutes and we're going to keep it rocking. Um, I think we found a worst movie of the year candidate. Um, <laughs> I don't know, but our Who producers, let's find out. Let's see. <laughs> Moon over. What is that? The most Atlanta? anticipated lifetime no. event. Monica? So let me introduce you to your life. To Simone Hicks. Voluptuous <laughs> black woman. Oh, yeah, I've seen this. I did a background So, channel. yeah, they did single She's white crazy. female with a That's black a baby. single black female type trouble. Oh, like single white female, but single black female? How did she get But look, yo, she's getting sexed down. Yo, it's two big yeah. women versus each other. This is, oh, this is going to be it's amazing. Her, that. It's her plan herself. Or even okay. good win. Single oh, no, no it's, it's two women. Oh, see? <laughs> they look like twins. Yo, I'm done. Yo, stop. He retracts that. He knew they were different. I, I did it. They look very similar to each other. I'm the the same same look at the poster. Yo. But that's great. Oh, that's no, great. it's a single white woman. Single white female. They had to yes, look like Yes, but they're also the making a statement, uh, you know, about larger women. You know what I mean? And, you know, trying to balance the, you know, the opportunities there, you know, to like be on a, a screen, you know, and still being, you know, sexually appealing, you know, characters, you know, in in a movie so yeah sure yeah and in the it original- doesn't look great because it just looks like a tv you know hd movie. movie as opposed to a movie on film but they're probably doing great jobs i don't i don't know now that i thought about the single for white female the girl kind of looked like her so i guess that was the whole thing like you know she looked like her so she wanted yes to look- yes that so that's why they looked alike the but it wasn't the same woman <laughs> It's Martin playing everybody. Yeah. <laughs> no. And is that played out? Uh, like, like, like one person doing a bunch of characters? I don't know, but I keep, every time I just think about Jack Black in the commercial for Tropic Thunder <laughs> and how he yeah. just roasted that shit. <laughs> yeah, he roasted the shit out of it. But that was pre Tyler Perry as well, which is how old Tropic Thunder is, by the way. Damn. But it was pre Medea because those were clump jokes. You know what I mean? Those weren't Medea jokes. Yeah, no. I mean, I'm I don't watch no Medea movies. Let me be honest. I respect Tyler Perry. I love him, but I don't watch nothing Tyler Perry related. I don't see him either. I'm sorry. I feel bad. I, I, listen, I support all black people, but I'm not going to support you just because you're black. Think yeah, about no that. Doubt. Think about I that. I support mogulism, but yes. I'm not supporting, you know, shit that doesn't speak to me. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, did did this guy understand the assignment, Keenan? Keenan? The average adult male is 5.2 inches. I don't know where she's getting this information from, but it's completely false. The average adult male size is actually 5 foot 7 inches. Here's even the bell curve distribution. Oh, yeah. The answer that she gave is such an astronomical outlier <laughs> and yeah, so many yeah, standard deviations below no the average that it's not even women. depicted here. I would suggest going to more reputable sources for your information. Yeah, also, <laughs> stop being a virgin. Fucking get out there and meet some ladies. Stop fucking being on your computer making videos. That's why you don't get the joke. You know what I mean? <laughs> Jesus. Uh, it's moving on. Did you hear about this Columbus Zoo that named their rescued manatee uh, from SeaWorld after I mean, Lizzo? But hold up. What is this whole thing about going so hard at calling people out? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> wait, what do you think you're going to get out of that? You think you're going to like get some fame out of that or like a bunch of followers or being the guy that like calls everybody on their shit type shit? Nobody gives a fuck. Reaction videos are the new thing. So, like, they allow you to do right. duets and reaction videos on the app. On the app, you can do a yeah. reaction video on Instagram or TikTok. Right. And so, do a video, do a parallel video. So, it's like, I mean, the guy made it on this podcast just by going, you know, full all, full, full autistic math with it. You know what I mean? So, true. it's doing something. Listen, bro, as I said, it, 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 you know, like, it has to be working if we're talking about it because it somehow came to me. So, <laughs> To be working well, in front of you, we're putting in front of others. So there yeah. has to be some validity to this. I don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah. Did you hear about the Columbus Zoo that named the rescue manatee after Lizzo? No. And they that fucked up. They rescued a manatee and named it Lizzo. That then nobody was in the room, like, should we do this? Or is this kind of fucked up? 
we're naming a manatee after a larger person. Like, I that's know that's yeah. kind of fucked up. I hope they're not? lying. I hope they're lying. I really, they're really, probably not. we hope they're lying. We hope it. But they're probably naive enough to think like, no, it's, a, it's just a compliment. Like we love Lizzo and this is a sweet little manatee. And like, we just body positivity. Them. You know, I was, or not even thinking that like Lizzo's like one of my favorite artists and like leaving it there and not even thinking down the roads of like shaming the fact that, yeah, you know, it could be taking that kind of way or something. I don't know. Yeah. All right. Some people need to think and just be broader minded and know that there's a lot of issues in the world. Everything's not just hunky dory fishing in the world, like boats and shit and sunny days. Like there's real shit going on out here. It's real, but I did see Lizzo put fucking mustard on an Oreo. She opened the Oreo up and then put the mustard on it and then put closed the Oreo and ate it. Yeah, I've seen that, man. I can't unsee that. I can't yeah, unsee no, that. Hard. That was the equivalent. That's like Saweetie, right? Yeah, I can't. I seen her dip oh, too much shit. Rich. All set making that bullshit. Oh yeah, set, the ramen. big ass kitchen <laughs> making that bullshit. Get out of here! <laughs> you want an eight million dollar house making that yeah. shit? God yeah. damn it! <laughs> oh shit! 